morning. Oh. I know you're probably thinking, James, where's the bike? Where's the Lycra? Why are you sitting in a car? Well, three days a week, Ugh. Monday, Wednesday and Friday, preferably, I go to the gym. And I go to the gym before the sun comes up. Now, oh, there's a reason I go this early in the morning. It's because, one, I can't really go off to work because I get home, say, 5.30. If I went to the gym, I'd be there till about 7. Isla goes to bed, 9-ish. So I only get two hours a night with her, and that's not great. So, I wake up in the morning, at like half three, and I try and get to the gym just gone four. And the other reason I go, have you ever gone to the gym after work? You ain't getting on anything. You spend half your time waiting for people to get off stuff, get off their phone. Blah, blah, blah. Short video for you today, just to give you a bit of a, a motivational boost, if you like. But I don't, I don't like going to the gym. I don't like waking up at half past three in the morning and going to the gym. I'm freezing. I'm sitting in the car waiting for the windows to defrost. Isla was up most of the night and I don't feel like going. But the days you don't feel like doing something are the days you should definitely do them. Now, I find going to the gym very beneficial for my mental health as well. Like it sets, sets me up for the day. Do you know what I mean? You go, get it in, get them endorphins running, blood running, and you're set for the day. Like people ask me all the time, how do you go so early in the morning? Doesn't it make you tired? You get used to it. Now don't get me wrong, you'll get dickheads like The Rock and Kevin Hart, all these famous dudes, yeah? Sleep less, work more, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, all right. Sleep less, work more. Well, not when you've got a nine to five, mate, and you know, you have to look after your own kids and you ain't got child minders and endless amounts of funds and you know, the best nutrition in the world. Don't listen to these people, yeah? You all these people out there trying to kill themselves, burn the candle at both ends. Oh, I need to sleep less. I need to work, 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 work. I need to, you know, work from when I get home to when I go to bed to get out. To... Give yourself a break. Yeah. Don't be so hard on yourself. But at the same time, it's very easy to do nothing. Doing nothing is very easy. It's very easy to be lazy. We all like to be lazy. I like to be lazy. But you need a reason. You need a why. Once you establish what your why is, doing this, getting up this early in the morning, going to the gym before work, whether it be going to the gym before work, whether it be going to the gym after work, whether it's cycling, whether it's any sort of activity that's gonna benefit your health and longevity in this life, it's not gonna be fun. It starts to become enjoyable, but to start to get going, motivation will only get you started. Discipline is what keeps you going. And I am dropping all of the gems at this morning. Jesus, someone should put like a, an epic soundtrack behind this and just make it a motivation. Mo 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 <laughs> and just make it a motivational YouTube video. All them gym goers, blah, blah. But no, seriously, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna drive now. We talk a little bit, but the light will have to go off eventually, because otherwise I'll get arrested. We don't want to get arrested. Not today. So yeah, I mean, some of this video might be in the dark. I do apologize, but I can't be driving with the light on. But yeah, once you establish your why, man, and my why is my daughter, Isla is my why. Like, I don't want to be, I don't want to die prematurely. Like, I need to be around for her. Oh my God, it's hot. Like, I need to be around for her. I need to be fit, strong and healthy for her. Now, I can't be 50 years old and not be able to 
you know, be there if she needs me. If she calls on me and I need to be there, I need to be ready. Can't be none of this old man before my time business. You need to look after yourself, eat right, sleep right. And all this healthy living business, I mean, don't get me wrong, we, we, we all, we all like a vice, we all do this and that. But it's not just your diet, it's not just your, your, your physical health. You need to look at what you put into your body mentally, like what you're listening to, who you're listening to, who you're hanging around with. Like, if you hang around with four waste men, chances are you will be the fifth. Yeah? If you're not hanging around with people that are doing things like productive things and, and like you need, uh, it, it just all goes into play. There's, there's, there's so much you could take into account when trying to look after your, your, your health. Mentally, physically, emotionally, everything. But exercise is a key, is a key one. Well, everything's easier to handle when you're, when you're healthier. Do you know what I mean? If you're physically healthy, you can, take, you can take on the world. Take it all on. If you feel like shit, because you've eaten shit, you're always gonna feel like shit. And the older you get, and I know, the older you get, the more things, you really are what you eat. You go like this weekend I ate all the carbs. And I mean all the carbs. And today I feel a little bit lethargic. I'm tired. Right? Like, you get a bit of inflammation. You need to look after yourself a little bit. I'm 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 babbling. I'm babbling. I've been I haven't slept a lot and you know, I just drank some pre-workout. Shit's about to go down in the gym. So what we do, we'll go park up, I'll go to the gym. I'm not filming in the gym because no. And we'll carry on when I get back. Right, that's it. Uh, hour and hour and a half in the gym in the morning, and then my battery died in the car. So you're on the phone now, I'm holding my phone up like a vlogger. It's embarrassing holding your phone up, but I'd rather hold a GoPro up. But anyway, that's it hour and a half in the gym, then we go home, we wash, we get changed and we go to work about our day. Listen, I'm not saying you have to go first thing in the morning before God wakes up, but try and fit it in in your day somewhere. It's an hour, try and get an hour in if you can. And you'll feel better for it overall. Seize the day before you know it, you've conquered the week and then it goes on to a month and six months and then before you know it, you've got healthy habits. You're feeling better, you're looking better. It's true, we do all have the same 24 hours in a day, but as I said before, don't listen to them people who are like, oh, sleep less, work more. Shut up. Yeah, but life is tiring. Life is hard. But if you can, fit it in and you'll feel better for it. Anyway, that's this video for you. I know there's not a single bike in this whole video, but I just thought I'd let, give you an insight into my life, but I'm not cycling. So I'll go to the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll cycle to work on a Tuesday and a Thursday, try and get some cycling in on the weekends. Not next week, but the week after, we're actually cycling to Margate again. Hopefully we don't get lost this time. And yeah, that should be good. So anyway, you lot take it easy. Enjoy your week, whatever you're doing. If you ain't done something already, get up, get out, go get it, and catch you next time. Peace. <sighs>